Hi, I'm Chris Haig and this is the Fiddle Channel and today we're going to play Joe Venuti's Four String Blues. <laughs> Joe Venuti was a pioneering jazz violinist back in the 20s and 30s and he was a real joker and trickster uh, not only in his uh, real life but in his fiddling as well and one of his best tricks was the four string technique and I'm going to show you how to do that. He actually has a, a tune called Four String Joe which, um, is, which best represents his playing of this style but that tune is not a particularly easy one. Um, so I'm going to play a, a four string blues which he played on uh, and you can see the video of this on a video called Thank You Joe Venuti. So check that out and you'll see him doing it. So there's a couple of aspects to this lesson. I'm going to show you the mechanics of how to do the four strings and then the musical aspect of what you can do with four strings. So uh, I suggest that you um, first of all put your fiddle up to your chin and hold it and then undo the screw on the bow and if you've never done this it's nothing drastic it's definitely going to go back so you take it out you put it somewhere safe then with your left hand holding the bow your right hand holding the frog which has got the hair you separate them you bring the wood below the fiddle you bring the hair down in the correct position and with your right hand you grab both of them. So the bow is now resting uh, across four strings. Uh, so, so far so good. Um, now after a bit of experimentation and research I realized that Venuti always did this in the key of C for the good reason that if you play a C on the two middle strings, an E and a C note, then the, the note below is going to be an open G. Uh, which is the um, the fifth of C chord and at the top you can have, have an open E which is the third of a C chord or you can put your second finger across um, on, on the C and the G and so you're pretty well covered. Now what we're most, mostly going to be doing is thinking of those two fingers um, and just of the middle of the chord, the middle of the four. And you can use what I call the scale of six. Like that. And, um, and you don't have to, you're not really thinking about four strings, you're just thinking mostly about two. And occasionally you will actually give some actual thought to what the other strings are doing. But I'll play through once the, the tune that he plays and then I'll just break it down a bit. Um... <laughs> okay, so we're opening up with with that, uh, just two fingers down. Now, if you angle the, the bow slightly to the right, and you'll hear clearly the G at the top. If you angle it slightly to the left, you'll hear the G at the bottom. And to some extent, you can choose whether you're gonna hear four, uh, three strings, the top three strings, or all four, if you just balance it right. So with the uh, first finger on the E, second finger on the C, and going across to the G, we've got the C chord. Move it over onto the G and D and A strings. Then you can alternate between a C and a F chord. And then with your fourth finger, just do that E flat. Okay, uh, now 
uh, put your fourth finger on the E flat on the A string. <laughs> Uh, do the same again but bring your first finger from an A to an A flat do those two again and then we're going to climb up 3 over 2 2 over 1 in 3rd position and then concentrating on the upper two strings We're going to walk all the way down using the scale of sixth. And then start where we've started with. And then end on a G chord with your first finger on the G and the D, second finger on the B for a G chord. So a lot of fun. I'm going to play it, play this again. I'll improvise a bit on the second time round. One, two, three, four. When you're finished, uh, raise the right hand, bring it round, and I suggest that you just let it hang so that you can make sure that you're not going to attach it with a twist in the strings. And then stick that little thing that sticks out back into there and tighten up again. And incidentally, you'll get a better effect if you've got some rosin underneath, and you can do that by holding something like that pull the rosin along the bottom of the strings because you won't have any rosin there because you only have a rosin one side of the strings, the hairs rather. And then tighten it up and you're good to go. So, um, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, if you're one of my patrons, then do send me a video of you having a go at this. <laughs> That'll be quite a lot of fun. Uh, I'll send you the, um, if you subscribe to the channel and uh, send me an email, I will send you the dots for this four string blues. And uh, there's a whole chapter on Joe Venuta in my Exploring Jazz Violin book, um, including a lot of his different techniques. Thank you for watching, I'll see you again soon. Mm -hmm.